But then I had an experience of being nobody, no identity, um, which was a completely different experience. And it's very difficult to, to describe because uh, I was still experiencing myself within this body. I still looked out of these eyes. I still would have seen a cup as a cup, you know, <laughs> a computer as a computer. Um, but still the way of seeing was completely different because the mind, the mind was completely different. The mind was not a thinking mind. There was still a mind where the apple didn't have a mind at all. There was still a mind. But the mind was not a thinking mind. In fact, the only thing the mind seemed to do was listen and occasionally question for, like, the next instruction. And so I would call it a receiving mind. That's what I would call it. I, I, I had a receiving mind. And one of the things that I remember when I was nobody, and I had just only a receiving mind, there was no thinking, only receiving, one of the instructions I received was to go over to the computer, um, to go to forholyspirit.org, and to pull up the um, biography of Regina. And so I'm reading Regina's biography. It's a, it's a one-page biography. And I had what I'm going to call a very distant memory at this point, a very, very distant memory that I used to think I was her. And it was funny to me because in that state of mind, I knew how impossible that was, that I could be a character. You know, Regina was just a character. And I knew how impossible it was that I could be a, a character. And I thought it was funny that I had ever thought that I was Regina. But in that biography was Regina's calling. That biography includes the message that I got from Holy Spirit asking me to write for it, to be the scribe. And it also includes um, the message I got from Holy Spirit asking me to read the New Testament and let it be interpreted through me. And even though I was in no way seeing myself as Regina in that moment, I felt guidance from this mind that I listened to. Remember, I was a receiving mind, listening to a mind that guided me. I felt guidance to accept Regina's calling as my calling, to accept it. And so I said yes to that as well. And then at some point that experience moved away from me and I became Regina again. <laughs>